Hi everyone and welcome into today's video. So the lesson will be on how to set up the green pencil for 3D rotoscoping. Supposing that you guys are really skilled to animate in 3D and have the strong desire to turn up your animation into green pencil, yep, I have two solutions for you. Let's say you open Blender on a new 3D scene and you delete the cube. It's just a ritual, just do it. From there, you start creating your animation, I mean your 3D animation reference, and also don't forget to set up a camera. It's very important to set up this camera. Then, you decide to rotoscope into grease pencil. How could you do that? The first solution, after finishing your 2D animation reference, do a render movie. I like to render into MP4 format. Then save your project and open a new 2D animation scene. Import the movie file as a reference and set it on the scene. And you're done. You're finally good to trace over with green pencil as usual. It's the really quick solution. Now the second solution, let's go back to the 3D animation reference. From there you're going to add the green pencil, choose the stroke. Just leave it here for a sec, just the time for me to explain you something. Working with green pencil in a case of rotoscoping requires you always to have your green pencil facing at you and also at your scene. And this is where the setup of the camera is important because your point of view is materialized by the camera. If you're moving around the scene without the grease pencil, you won't be able to rotoscope properly. Don't forget the grease pencil is a 2D object into a 3D space. That's why the grease pencil has to be combined with the camera in order to be set to draw anytime. So let's place the grease pencil in front of the camera. Put a good distance between those two. I mean, it's preferable. And both have to be perfectly faced to each other. When it's done, select your grease pencil, then your camera, and let's parent them. Now, every time the camera will move, the grease pencil will follow the motion and remains facing the camera. At this point, you are good to start rotoscoping and work as you usually do with grease pencil. I know the process is a bit different, but I think it's just a question of habit. Doing the Berserk sequence in that way was a bit complicated for me at first, but at the end of the day, if you understand the placement of the elements and the options, there will be nothing to worry about. I hope this episode will help you to progress to Grease Pencil. Be aware that you can do way more things by pushing further more, but for now, it's already a plus to your bag, so take advantage of it. Before ending this video, I just want to give a shout out to Christoph Teden for the night sky and the grass tutorial and also Touched by Kai for the flag tutorial that I turned into a cape in my case. Thank you so much, their link will be in the description if you want to know more about it. That's it for me today, I wish you to keep having fun with Blender and I will see you next time, peace. Yume no Kagari Pika. Oh, <laughs> うまいこと言うね。